Hey, and welcome back once again to Dominican Rendezvous. So happy that you have joined. Thank you for tuning in today. Hopefully you're doing well in these times of which we're living. Hopefully this whole nightmare will be over soon. And we can all get back to doing what we really enjoy doing, which is traveling the world, investing in things that we're interested in investing in. And today I just wanted to talk about, again, a few tips for um, realizing and thinking about investing in the Dominican Republic and a few tips that should help you along the way. Now, oftentimes some of these things may sound repetitive and they are repetitive for purpose. Uh, There's a lot of education in repetition. And certainly some of you may not have seen some of the previous videos and by all means, I always say go back to the playlist under business and real estate and you'll see a lot of good information I believe that can be helpful to you as you work your way find your path uh, through uh, this maze of real estate investing in the Dominican Republic so eight tips real quick for investing today number one as always you've heard me say this study 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 the culture Study the geography of the Dominican Republic. Study the customs and the people of the Dominican Republic. Learn the language. You've heard me say this many, many times before. Know something about the government and the, and the politics and the, econo- and the economics of the Dominican Republic. Study the market. Visit the Dominican Republic. And before you buy, rent in one place or two different places. Visit different locations. Study, study, study. Spend time studying. Know your stuff. Now, right now, for many of us, you're not able to do much traveling. Uh, If you're in your home country, in this case, in the United States, you're not able to get into the Dominican Republic. An excellent time to study. You perhaps are already studying by going through Google or going through YouTube and doing YouTube searches and and hopefully you're coming across my channel and some of the information uh, that I have presented to you about business opportunities and investment in the Dominican Republic but there's a lot of them out there so please please continue to study continue to learn you can never not know you can never know enough learn more learn more learn more the second thing that you want to do is you want to make it legal you want to know the rules of ownership You want to know what all the restrictions that could be upon you are as a foreign investor or a foreign owner. You want to know the restrictions. You want to know the regulations. You want to know about life there as it as it as it relates to being having things done legally uh, in the Dominican Republic. And again, this will be one of my other points here. But you can get all this help from an attorney and from a real estate professional. But the main point I wanted to make here, secondly, is is to make sure that you're doing it legally. Make sure you're doing it legally and correctly in the right way. Number three, less is more. Be careful how much you are going to spend or how much you plan to spend. Start small. That way that if you mess up, if you make a mistake, if you have an error, it won't be too bad. It, the, the, the bleeding won't be profuse. It may be a slow, uh, slow bleed, but it won't be a profuse bleed. And it's something that you can recover from. So you want to test the waters. Start slow. Start slow. Don't spend all your money uh, that you have that you're thinking of investing on one project or in one investment opportunity. Think small and build upon that. Number four, I would say would be to broaden your perspective, broaden your viewpoint. Um, Many of you are uh, have told me that you're excited about buying particular properties on the North Coast, and you hear a lot about the North Coast, North Coast, North Coast. And I don't mean to disparage the North Coast, but there's other places in the Dominican Republic that are worthy of your consideration. So location uh, is something that you really need to to focus on, to think about, um, to give due consideration. Uh, other than just one particular location. Now, I understand you might like that location. You may have visited there many, many times. You're in love with that location. But again, as I've said before, take your time, travel around. There may be some other things that may capture your attention and your, uh, your, your keen consideration. Number five, I would say 
know where your money is coming from. Now, if you've got a lot of cash that you're going to uh, use to, to, to invest, that's, that's fine, that's great. But if you're going to be thinking about uh, getting a mortgage, uh, financing it, know the rules, know the banks, get to know the banking uh, regulations, get to know the rates, uh, you need to know everything that there is about mortgages in the Dominican Republic. What is the maximum amount of money that they're going to be able to allow you to borrow? You need to know that. I have um, a video where I talk about mortgages. Uh, please take a look at that. Just check out the playlist and you'll get that information. Number six, as you've heard me say before, I'll say it again. Know what your tax obligations and implications are. Taxes that may be due in the Dominican Republic, taxes that may be due in your home country. You need to know about capital gains. You need to know about income, income requirements, income transfers, money transfers, all of these things, exchange rates. Again, all that comes down to that first point I mentioned, which is study, 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 get the information. It's out there, it's available, you just have to get it. Number seven, I would also add this, is are you liquid? Are you liquid? Are you going to be putting all your money into one real estate project, one real estate property? Keep in mind, real estate itself is not liquid. It could be a good investment, it could be a good return, but it may not, it is not going to be liquid and immediately liquid when you need some liquidity. So consider that. Um, and then you may want to consider a real estate investment trust as an option look into real estate investments trust i've talked about them in another video um, keep pointing you back to these other videos i hope you do take a time and look at that and then number eight and finally again being repetitious i've said it before i'll say it again make a lawyer your best friend he or she will be there to help you to guide you through this process don't simply take what others are telling you what others say they have done or what others say they are doing please, please, please get legal advice. That's the first point. And then secondly, if needed, and if you feel comfortable with a real estate agent, please, by all means, use a real estate agent. And that's the eight points that I just wanted to share with you today. I hope it's helpful. Please leave me a comment below. Look forward to talking to you again real soon. Please subscribe. Please hit that like button, share the channel, and hit the notification bell. From me to you, Dominican.